Imagine for a moment a sky with two suns. Our shadows would stretch in opposite directions, daylight would be almost unbearably intense, and nights would transform into a perpetual, warm twilight, an eternal sunset painted by the celestial dance of two sister stars. But this cosmic postcard, of almost divine beauty, hides a deadly and recurring secret. If our sun had a twin, a dark and elusive star nicknamed Nemesis, the goddess of retribution, its existence would not be peaceful. It would likely be a red or brown dwarf, a nearly invisible stellar failure, trapped in an immense, eccentric orbit that would pull it away for millions of years and then return with devastating consequences. As it passed through the farthest reaches of the solar system, its gravitational pull would disrupt the distant, gigantic Oort cloud, that icy sphere enveloping our system, a graveyard of trillions of failed worlds and icy comets. Its pull would unleash hell. Not a simple meteor shower, but an apocalyptic bombardment on a scale we can barely conceive, hurling mountain-sized projectiles toward the inner planets, including Earth. This cycle of annihilation, theorized by some scientists, would repeat itself every 26 million years, eerily coinciding with the patterns of mass extinctions on our planet. In fact, some believe this phantom star was the true culprit behind the extinction of the dinosaurs, a cosmic executioner that visits us periodically to purge life. For decades we have searched for it with powerful infrared telescopes, but it remains a specter. We wouldn't see Nemesis until it was too late, a tiny light in the sky growing to become the harbinger of our end. Perhaps our sun isn't alone, but is a serial killer with a hidden accomplice patiently waiting for its moment to strike again.